Hey everybody, Jared here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use a UI scroll view with Swift in Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, huge shout out to Jacob Stanley who did the intro for this new video. So be sure to check that out, check his channel out. He talks about tech and other things. So be sure to check him out in the link description down below where he'll be annotated right now. Anyway guys, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so first thing we need to do is create a new Xcode project and we're going to create a new Xcode project and we're going to create a single view application. Now just a reminder, it doesn't need to be a new Xcode project, it can be used with an existing project, but I'd just like to show things how they are done from scratch. So okay, now let's go ahead and do the product name. We're going to call this uh, scrolling and our language will be set to Swift and our devices will be set to iPhone. Click Next and Create. And I'm just clicking Replace. And now let's make this a bit bigger. And we're going to go over to our main .storyboard to start out with. And we're going to add a scroll view or a UI scroll view onto our scene. So click and drag a scroll view onto your scene like so. And we're going to open up our assistant editor. And uh, actually, I didn't want to do that exactly yet. So close our assistant editor. And first thing we want to do is add a button onto our scene. And one thing you'll notice is, well, when I drag this in, it worked this time. But as you can see, it's inside of our scroll view. Now, I've done this before where it accidentally puts it uh, just be a, uh, just in front of the UI scroll view. So it actually it, it's not inside of the UI scroll view. So in order to fix this, just go over to your hierarchy right here and make sure that it's inside of your scroll view. And it will show you that by one, it's going to be indented a bit more in, and it has a drop-down arrow, which is hidden inside of our scroll view now. All right, now first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to center this UI scroll view onto our scene, because if we were to build this right now, uh, one thing you'll notice is, one, the scrolling will not work properly, and two, everything's built in a square aspect. So you need to fi fix this real quick. So, right, so we're just going to right-click or control-click and drag from our button, over to our UI scroll view, and we're going to make this has center horizontally in container, and we're also going to center it vertically inside of the container. All right, and now let's go back to our scroll view, and you can right click or control click and drag either from the hierarchy to the view, or you can just go right here over to the hierarchy or to the view, and we're going to make it have equal widths, equal heights. We're going to center it horizontally in container, and we're going to center vertically in container. All right, now, as we build and run this now, as you can see, everything's going to be centered properly. So as you can see, nothing's scrolling right now, so we, all, we need to add a certain amount of scrolling height that this thing is going to go through. So let's go ahead and go into our viewcontroller.swift. Actually, first thing we need to do is go back into our main.storyboard and open up our assistant editor, which is the two linked bubbles up here at the top right corner. And we want to right click or control click and drag from our scroll view over to our viewcontroller.swift file. And we're going to make this an outlet connection. And I'm just going to call mine scroll view. So I'm actually just naming the scroll view right now that's on our UI uh, on our UI view controller right now. And now we want to edit this when the view loads. So the first thing I'm going to do is make this text a bit bigger. So I'm going to go to preferences and I'm going to fonts and colors and just changing the text so it's a bit bigger for you guys. All right, now you guys can probably see that a bit better. All right, now we have the scroll view and it's hooked up via an, I, via an, I, an IB outlet. And let's go over to our view to load, and now we're going to change the size or the content size of this scroll view. So just say scroll view, uh, view dot content size dot height equals 1000. Now this is just a really a random number, uh, but it also proves a purpose. So if I were to build and run this right now, you can see that everything scrolls properly. And now just a way that you can get numbers is first you can go over to your uh, view controller right here and you can go to or your attributes inspector. So I'm going to close the assistant editor real quick. So select our view controller just by clicking this top white bar right up here. And we're going to change this, uh, the size of this view controller to just be an iPhone 4 inch. 
So now as you can see, if we were to go check out the size inspector right over here, so go to your size inspector, and you will see uh, that it is a 320 by 568 uh, screen size. So this is 568 right here. So if I were to go 1000 past that, just it's really all imagining. So you can also just type that in right over here and you can say 1000. Hmm, does that seem right? That's how long I want my scroll view to be? Yes, that's right. Okay, so that's you would work with that. Or you can make it a bit bigger and just change the size accordingly and you can add your buttons and everything. Uh, so this it works uh, perfectly just to be sure that you know that you are creating the right thing uh, for your app. So now I put this back to the original. Actually, I don't even think that's the original. So go back to your assistant editor and I'm going to make it iPhone 4 it again. And I'm going to build and run and as you can see it's now going to, it still has that scrolling of 1000 no matter what I'm using. Right now I'm, I'm simulating being an iPhone 6 and if I were to change this to be an iPhone 6 Plus it would be the exact same thing. It would scroll 1000 it would make the height of the content size 1000. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. Wow, that is all pretty pretty plus, pretty large. All right. Now as we wait for that to load, first uh let me explain a concept to you guys real quick. So if you guys want uh to take away those scrolling indicators here, I'll show you right now. These scrolling indicators right over here as I move along. If you want to take those away, what you need to do is go over here into your main.storyboard and click on your scroll view. And over here in your attributes inspector, you will see that there's two check marks that say scrolling indicators. So you you don't want if you don't want those, as like say you were using this on a menu where you don't really want them, then you can just take them away by uh, taking off unchecking these check marks right here. So now let's build and run this again. And as you can see, now there's no more of those gray scrolling indi indicators anymore. And also this is just showing you this is the iPhone 6 Plus screen size. So it works perfectly fine. Everything's centered inside of the scrolling size. And as you can see, it doesn't scroll as far, mainly because of the reason uh, that the iPhone 6 Plus is larger. So this is perfect for any application that you want. It's going to make it a fixed ratio or a fixed size or height of your scroll view depending on which iPhone you're using. So it, this is perfect for what you're wanting to do if you're going to create a menu or even a book or whatever you want to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is basically the basics. Uh, also, just one last thing. You can also edit the scroll view width. So you can just easily say scroll view dot content size dot width equals, we'll just say 1000. Uh, if we built and run this now, built and ran this right now, you would see that everything works and you can actually scroll to the side right now. So that's just a neat trick if you were to do a scrolling, I guess a scrolling game uh, where you have several options to choose from. But that is how you scroll uh, via the width and via the height. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below as it does help out the channel a lot. If you guys want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. If you guys have any recommendations for future tutorials, be sure to leave that down in the comments section down below. And also if you have any questions, be sure to leave that down in the comments section down below as well. Also, you can also hit me up on Twitter, follow me there if you guys want to know future updates on me and also uh, just future updates on tutorials and you can also hit me up on there if you guys have any questions anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye